Hello guys, welcome to this video. Let's talk today about the Viewtrox mount adapter. If you want to update the firmware for it, it's pretty easy, okay? But there are some details here you need to learn. Okay, so first of all, this adapter works with my camera. Here's the Blackmagic Cinema Pocket camera and it's a micro four third lens and I need to adapt with my EF mount. So I'm not using Metabones that are expensive. So that's the reason I'm using view trucks, but I have to update the firmware. So what I have to do is just connect a cable here and then connect to my computer and copy and paste the firmware. And then is that is the tricky part, okay? What I have to do is test different cables to make sure it work. Uh, let's say for example, this one. When I tried this one, at first it didn't work because I just connected the cable here, like so. Here we go. And then I connected the other part here to the computer, to the USB port, but it didn't work. When you just connect the cable to your computer, you should see a Windows pop up. So you can just drag and drop the firmware there. So it was not working at first. So what I have to do is just remove this cable and try a different one. So I tried this one and guess what? Didn't work. Then I tried a different one like this, like this, and like this. And all of them didn't work. So you need to keep trying until you find the correct cable. When you just connect to your computer, it should pop up the, the screen so you can drag and drop the files, right? It works for Mac or PC as well. But it, what I did here was to use this adapter, okay? This one worked for me. So I use this adapter and also a cable like this, a regular USB extension cable. Okay, so I just connected here to this adapter and then I connected here to my view trucks. Uh, let's try this again. Just need to get it right. Here we go. So I did this and then I connected to my computer and I could see the screen pops up so I could drag and drop the files there. Okay, I'll leave the link here in the description for this adapter so you can have it and can work with your computer as well. And also a short cable, you just need to use a short USB cable to connect with this adapter and it's going to work. Okay, so now let's see how you need to update this on your computer. Okay, now I have the Viewtrox adapter connected to the cable. I'm going to connect the other end to the computer. So here we go. As you can see, as soon as I connect the cable, this window pops up. It's the Explorer, File Explorer. And I can see here the Viewtrox adapter. When I right click and click Properties, as you can see, it's just like a folder. It shows that there is nothing there. This folder is empty, but you can see that something is using space there, right? So it's, a it's using a little bit of space, so something is really there. This is important to understand because when you copy and paste a file here, the folder is still is gonna show you as empty, but the file it's there is hidden, but it's there, okay? So what you have to do now is go to the Viewtrox website, come to Download Center, and look for the adapter. In my case here, I have mount adapter, EF series, you have for Canon, Sony, Fuji, in my case, EF M430. And here we go with EF M2 version four, this for this year, 2022. So I click here and here are the instructions for the update, okay? So basically you need to remove the adapter from the camera when upgrading. That's what I did. And then you need to copy the file to the disk, okay? Which means to the adapter. And you cannot unplug the USB cable, okay? That's for sure. And the disk is going to restart automatically and the upgrade file disappears, but the upgrade is successful, okay? So it's pretty simple, right? So let me just download it. So I click here. It downloads it. I just need to unzip the file, extract it here to my PC. Here we go. Let's go to download folder. Here it is. Double click here again, and I find the files. You have the upgrade instructions here. It says basically the same thing that you just read. So let me just close this. And now I need to copy this file here to the folder, right? I'm gonna just move this here a little bit and 
bring the other folder here. Here we go. So this is my download folder and here is the adapter. Okay. I'm just gonna just copy and paste here. And as soon as I do that, you see it closes it and opens it again and seems like it's empty again. You see, it's just a click flash that closes and open and again, and but it's there, okay? So you are ready to go. Now you just need to disconnect your cable here and your view trucks is ready to go, okay? So now you need to connect to your camera and it's ready. So I hope you can update yours. Just select the correct cable, connect to your computer, copy and paste the file and you're done. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up and your comments. See you in the next one.